Hello and welcome to the 2024 Australian Grand Prix reaction and I'm joined in by the Captain AGX. Hello, hello. Thank you very, very much for having me back. Yeah, let's do this. Finally back for the reaction. And uh, yeah, quite a different Grand Prix. For... Yes. <laughs> yeah. Well, our prayers were answered, I think, I think is the correct way of saying it. Yeah, <laughs> I only want to remember. Yes, definitely, definitely one to remember. Very, very pleased with uh, what what occurred, shall we say? Yeah, Not yeah. expecting it, but uh, definitely a an up from uh, the past, maybe ten Grand Prix since Singapore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Well, I would say uh, Las Vegas for for me was one of the better Grand Prix recently so fair enough, fair enough. yes yes but other than that pretty much all pretty boring races and this one is actually one by a different driver <laughs> other than the one we're used to carl Sainz coming from a surgery of his appendicitis two weeks prior yes. to the grand prix jumped into the car outperformed the clerk won the grand prix <laughs> wow just just a wow. crazy turnaround yeah, especially considering the pressure he must have felt as well. Uh, he just got back from the surgery, obviously. He had a reserve driver in his seat uh, doing great stuff against Leclerc. Then, lose. obviously, he doesn't have the seat for next year, so he's trying to impress other teams. And I think there's no better way he could have done that. <laughs> So yeah, wow, Carol Science, great weekend. I'm um, I'm proud of you. Yes, yes, uh, I think uh, very similar, very very similar to uh, reminds me. Of, well, it was a lot more dominating, but it reminds me very much of uh, Perez at Force India, uh, as it was called back then. I think it was still yeah. no, it was not called Force India, was it? it, um, was it had it changed yet? I don't know. It was we, pink, so it must have been the Alpine. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Wait, actually, which which year? Uh, when he won in the in Bahrain in oh, uh, twenty twenty. That was that was a racing point. Yeah, that was the ah, racing name. point. There you go. <laughs> racing <laughs> point, which was obviously kind of similar to the Mercedes <laughs> the year prior. <laughs> yeah, we we remember that. That was a. That was a funny year, and this this year we it started a very very boring way. I mean, two pretty dominant max victories. We didn't really expect anything from this Grand Prix. We expected it to be very boring, at least from my side. I, I think in the predictions I said that it's going to be one of the most boring races. It wasn't like the best Grand Prix ever, but at least it wasn't won by Max, so it also it, it gets a plus there instantly. Yes, yes, definitely. And that was pretty that went on. Not that uh, all of it was obviously good, or, you know. Uh, thank God Russell was okay. We'll get on to that later. But uh, yeah, it was a cra crazy, crazy Grand Prix. Yeah, I guess we'll talk about it a bit more in our predictions, obviously, reacting to our predictions. So, so we have the... okay, we're in the spreadsheet now, and let's react to our predictions. And I. <laughs> The first thing I see, I'm very pleased that we're both wrong. <laughs> Actually, never mind. Yeah. Oh, we're right in that one. <laughs> sorry, sorry I'm, I'm, okay. That was the one thing I. Uh, okay. We are both right. <laughs> Max full. I completely forgot forgot about that because Ferrari looked like the quicker car in qualifying like for the entire weekend. I completely forgot Max yeah. got the pole. It was like something that completely went out of my mind. Yeah. <laughs> Max full. I actually. Don't really remember that. Fair enough. Max, that was a great lap, actually. Considering the Ferrari speed all throughout the weekend, he came into Q3 and just got an insane lap. And f I mean, great, great job, Max. Just unlucky in the race. Yeah. Okay. B2 was yes. Carl Sainz, so no points. Yeah, no points, thank goodness. Although you, you're going to get a lucky point later. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, obviously Sainz just ended up being quicker than Leclerc. He wants it more, some may say, because uh, obviously he's trying to find a seat. But uh, 
Yeah, he was just quick over the entire weekend, wasn't he? Well, it didn't yeah. look like it in the practices, but yeah, he ended up being yeah. substantially quicker in the end. Very much uh, his dominance of this race uh, is definitely the uh, front page news. Of course, we who who knows what would have happened? What would have happened if we had Max in the mix? Um, but yeah, it was a it was a good. Good quality, uh, good quality from him, and then he did it in the race as well. Yeah, beat Leclerc fair and square. There's nothing really to say about that. Charles, it looked like he had some great speed, and then just Q3 completely failed on on his lap and got only P5. Which I mean, you got you got a Ferrari in P5. That's it's <laughs> that's impressive there. I, unfortunately, it's the other one. So so yeah. P3, though, is Lando Norris, I think. Was uh, it? Oh, for qualifying. Yeah, but... I, f- I think I think Lando got P3. And I may be wrong. I'm looking it up now. Yeah, I, I think Lando... I, I, I had the race results at hand. <laughs> uh, yeah. No, it was Perez. Oh, wait. Yeah, it says Perez, but Perez got penalty. Right? Oh, okay. So Lando started, uh, like... Start on in third by qualifying for. Mm, okay. Yeah, yeah. I think. Uh, what did we do last year about that? Yeah, we, think... we 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 did. Uh, we did uh, like the actual qualifying results, not the race start results. Yeah. So, okay. Yeah. So yeah. So no points here because it's Perez and uh, for this one. But in P four, yes, it was Landon Norris, so <laughs> he got a point over me, right? Thank. Goodness, thank goodness, because uh, I'm going to lose those points later on. So I needed that. <laughs> Wait, are you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we'll get to it. We'll get to it. Uh, yeah, looking at looking at the Grand Prix results, I think you got a lot of points there. I huh? got so unlucky on those in the Grand Prix results. Fair, yeah. Um, yeah. Before for Lando, there was a. Good qualifying. He beat Oscar in his home Grand Prix, and McLaren overall looked very strong throughout the entire weekend. Not quite as quick as the Ferraris and Red Bulls, but in the race they both beat Perez on pace. I mean, it's it's Perez to be fair, right? It's Perez. You cannot really judge the Red Bull by that, but they still beat the Red Bull, so impressive in that sense. And yeah, they looked much quicker than Mercedes and Aston Martins, for example. So yeah, good weekend for McLaren. Uh, PS3 and P5, I think. So no points yes. for no points yeah, for no P5. Points. So yeah, actually, Charles starting. Really Wait, start, yeah, Charles starting in P5 or P4? Uh, no, Charles. Yeah, Charles was P. Uh, he started P5, B quality P4. Uh, sorry, he started P4, B quality P5. So it was Charles in uh, fifth. Yeah. So. Either way, we don't get any points. No points, yes. Okay, you were in the lead by one point last game. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh, that lead's about to be demolished because of uh, a poor decision by me that (laughs) could have very much turned the other way, sadly. Yeah. Um, One thing I want to mention from qualifying, uh, obviously Hamilton, P11, of... not great, but mostly due to the Mercedes not being quick, as we saw Russell being like one tenth quicker. Yes, and yeah. Sunoda, Yuki Sunoda in Q three once again, very impressive qualifying from Yuki there. Very, yeah, asserting his dominance over Ricardo once more. Yeah, looking very good for him. Uh, so yeah, moving on to the Grand Prix, P one is. Not Max Verstappen, and I'm so Yay! happy to say this. Yes, uh, this is like the happiest moment that I'm not getting pointed. <laughs> okay, Carlos, we are. Already... Yeah, Go yeah, on. science was just brilliant, wasn't he? Throughout the weekend, as we said, and uh, just overtook Max. Uh, I would say it was before the engine failed, right? So it was fairly. Uh, and uh, yeah, just coasted to victory. Very good, uh, very good from uh, sides, which uh, is embarrassing for us too because neither of us had him in our top five. So, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, I mean... Shows what we know, I, sadly. I expected him to crash, and he just won the yeah. damn Grand Prix. <laughs> I was going to say, your major driver error was him coming first. <laughs> Such a He's not meant to do that. <laughs> like the reverse... Uh, re- reverse driver error, like... Uh, okay. Um, P1. Okay, Carl Sainz P1. That's, uh, that's an interesting one. So... Max and Carlos won the last 21 Grand Prix combined. Obviously, two of them were Carlos and 19 of them when Max was number. Crazy stats. Uh, yeah. P2 is Charles Leclerc. And I get a point. <laughs> you do. I'm really annoyed at myself. <laughs> if I'd put Perez in fifth, then I'd be sitting on four points now and moved everyone up. Yeah. Uh, uh, too much belief in that Red Bull. Yeah, yeah. actually, yeah, yeah, you're, you're right. You were actually like, if, if you would put Perez out of the top five and lift everyone up, you'll get like so many points. Uh, but yeah, if I just put him fifth, I just yep. had to put him fifth, and I'd get four points. <laughs> yeah, now I see the battle like you you talked about. Yeah. Yes, unfortunately so. Unfortunately so. We're, we're going to get more bad luck. Obviously, Piastri uh, did get the podium. Um, but uh, good race for him. Look, uh, you know, it, it, he was behind, but he's, he, he wasn't too far behind in the end. And uh, solid race from him. Uh, he'll probably be disappointed he couldn't get the first. But uh, he started quite a f- bit f- further back. And yeah, just kept kept on the sides of his coattails for the entire race, but uh, not enough. Yeah, good effort from Charles, just not as well as uh, complete as his as his teammates throughout the entire weekend. So yeah, P two for Charles. P three was in uh, was Lando Norris. Yes. So as you mentioned, no points. Both so close. Both so close. Yeah. I, I got Piastri, so I got a McLaren, but still no points. If even if if I had the McLarens reverse, I would get two points, but instead I get none. It's kind of lucky as well. Uh, yeah. Well, you, you had the uh, Erez school was the big one. Oh yeah. Did, did he finish P five? Yeah, he finished P five. Oh, I actually, thought he finished P six. Or uh, I don't know why that why I have that in my head. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't, I'm not sure. Yeah, P- I, was, I was thinking that did it was Alonso in P5, no, but he wasn't. So, yeah, you, you can expect like, some, some random Alonso in P5. <laughs> uh. Well, I was thinking because he got his uh, big penalty that we'll get to when, yep. d- further down the line. Yeah, yeah I was... think there's a perf- perfect segment for that, uh, in our least impressive drivers. Oh, yeah, uh, but yeah, <laughs> we got the, a lot of wrestler here. Yeah. Just <laughs> the, the McLarens were, um, Pretty pretty special, uh, and yeah, the, 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 they weren't quick enough compared to the Ferraris, but it kept in front of Paris. Uh, good race from them. Yeah, very good race from McLaren. Uh, but they still look they they do still look like they're the third quickest team. Yeah, for they sure. Weren't, uh, they weren't right on the. I mean, Piastri was quite far back. Norris was at least with the other two. Yeah, um, but yeah, yeah. Very good race from McLaren. But in the predictions, uh, when I said that McLaren finished P3 and P4, you kind of accepted that, that it would give it, give me a point for the most impressive team, but McLaren were not the most impressive team, so it's kind of funny there, there but yeah. Yeah, yeah, sadly, yeah. sadly so, because, uh, well, there's, there's a few impressive teams, but we'll get, we'll get to that. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah definitely. Um, either way, good weekend for McLaren. Uh, asserting that yeah. dominance over the Mercedes and last Martin. Also, Suzuka coming in, I think that's the circuit that will suit McLaren the most. Like last year, we yeah. saw them being comfortably the second fastest team, just behind Max Perez being nowhere that weekend. So, yeah. No points for P4. P5. As mentioned, Perez gives me a point that I have no idea yeah. what I get. And I'm not complaining. <laughs> um... Is disappointing for Perez. is is an opportunity to get points, and he's failed. So, uh, a disappointing weekend for him. Okay, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think I got Sorry. the fastest lap as well. 
Yes, you did. I was oh going to say, God. you literally moved off Verstappen to try and give me an easy point. And uh, you managed to get get, get the clear. <laughs> so my strategy to give you a point gave me yeah. a point. Incredible. Incredible. Yeah, I'm just... Uh, yes, he I'm lost just, his lab. I'm just a few dimensions ahead of you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He gave it to Hamilton, and obviously he didn't get to set a quick lap time because he obviously DNF'd throughout the Grand Prix. <laughs> oh yeah, that was that Sadly was so, that, that was sad. But getting to the least impressive team has no way double points finish. No this way, is... yeah, double points finish. Very good. And uh, Mercedes, they're going to be an argument for most impressive. Mercedes double DNF. I would say this is pretty. Pretty good for at least impressive, but there's also one yeah. one other team that would you could give it this to and it's yeah. a red bull. So it yeah. is, this is very difficult. And yeah. I'm I'm willing to give you a point. Just based okay. on just based on uh the fact that they both DNF like Thank you, Russell Crash. Thank you. <laughs> like, you cannot get less impressive than that. Like they True. Before, before the weekend they said that they, they will finally understand understand the car, they will move move on, bring upgrades, whatever. They just didn't have speed, it legit looked like the fifth fastest team. And I think I think uh Hamilton got out of qualified by Sunita as well. Russell almost uh, uh, Russell almost did as well. So overall very bad weekend for Mercedes. Red Bull looked very good in qualifying, at least Max hands. Obviously that break issue is unfortunate that uh, just is on the team. We cannot really say otherwise. And I mean, P five for Perez. That is mostly on the driver, in my opinion. If I, I think if if Red Bull had two maxes, they would get at least a podium, if not a race win. So yeah, uh, this is difficult. If if you could give it to two teams at the same time, I would definitely give it to those two. But Mercedes definitely deserves a point, just just based on how how dreadful that car is and. Double DNF, you can't get worse than that. That's a point. No, yeah. Yeah, that's... Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, I'll take it. I'll take it. Um, Please impressive. <laughs> this impressive. is a tricky one, right? Please impressive driver, yeah. This is this is a tricky one. Um, no, it's, right. You could put Max up there, but it's not his fault his car fails. Yep. You could put Hamilton up there, but it's not his fault his car fails. You could put Russell, but... Well, the FIA decided it's not his fault for the crash. Uh, and then you could put Alonso because it is his point for the crash, but he's the only one that finished. Yeah. Uh, and then you got Perez, who, despite his teammate uh, not finishing, still can't manage to get first place. <laughs> not even a point. So there is a lot of... Yeah, exactly. There's a lot of people here that could deserve it, right? Because... Okay. God damn! What, what what a mess! Yeah, my pick would be the outside pick that you haven't mentioned even, and okay. it's it's mostly based on the decision that I've been very very much against. My least impressive driver for, from the weekend is Alex Albon, and what? Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, I get it, I get it. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's tricky though, because he he was very close to getting a one point. He was close to getting a one point with two Mercs and a Red Bull DNF thing. <laughs> he, he, would go, he would have gotten P14 otherwise. And I, I don't mm. want to tell you, if, if Logan Sargent finishes in P14, I'm just putting that as an average weekend and Alex Albon finishing P14. That's, that's so, like, that doesn't, doesn't justify giving me the car to just finish P14 if it wasn't for yeah. DNFs. If if it was a normal weekend and we just got a boring race, nothing happens. Reliable, this thing is okay. Album finishes P fourteen, taking Sergeant's seat for no reason. He crashed that car yeah. in practice, getting his teammate's car just to finish P fourteen. I felt that's so so bad. I, I, if I was Albon, I would legit feel bad for for my teammate. Like I don't know what what goes inside his head, but. Being sergeant, uh, this is such a such a unfair decision for sergeant. Obviously, Albon had higher chances to get a point. I'm not saying that he didn't. Right? Yeah, yeah. 
by considering the William Space didn't look like a point scoring team throughout the weekend. They just looked like we... in that territory of where he finished pretty much. Can we a hundred percent say it was Alex's fault though? Yeah. In my opinion, yeah, okay, hundred percent. In my opinion, Fair enough. If if Max was in that Williams seat, they would have scored a point. <laughs> I can say okay. that straight up. It just Alex had to deliver a point based on decision it, the decision itself. I didn't like it, but if 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 they did the decision, they probably uh, thought it was the right choice, and it wasn't. So. Yeah, unfortunately. I would still go with uh, the boy Paris, but uh, it doesn't matter because neither of us uh, put either. Of them, okay. So. okay, fair enough. Let's play like that. Do you, do you expect Perez to be putting some great performances and finishing like uh, first place or whatever? I, do, I if if Max is if Max DNF he DNFs he should be getting first. Okay, that, in my opinion, yeah, obviously that, the Ferrari was quick this weekend, but. It is a failure on him that he is not getting first when Max is DNFing. Okay, that's probably... And not even getting yeah. a podium when Max is DNFing. Yeah, that's probably based on your opinion. And I, I respect your opinion, right? It's just that... Mm. Yeah, my, I don't rank Perez high enough. Yeah, I, I, just, I, just, I, just, I think Yeah. I don't either. I just think that car is ranked high enough. <laughs> yeah. Look at my predictions. The Perez didn't get a top five in qualifying, which technically didn't happen actually, because he obviously got the penalty. No, 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 no. So technically started P six and finished P five. Exactly according to my predictions. If you how did he get the penalty think, again? He impeded Hulkenberg in qualifying. Hulkenberg didn't catch the Q two because yeah, of it. Okay. So so yeah, just pretty much what I expected from Perez happened, and I. Yeah. He, he would need to have another Suzuka or like another of those races to be least impressive because we've saw so, we saw so many bad races from Perez that I yeah, I'm always willing to give him the most impressive driver sometimes <laughs> when he finishes P2 because just how bad his end of the 2023 season was I I legit can't expect Perez yeah. to to do uh, well. Yeah. Look, it doesn't matter because uh, obviously we both we both won't get a point anyway. So I'm happy for it to be uh, Albon. I understand yep. your reasoning, and I think that's fair. Um, I think before we move on, though, we should talk about the Russell Alonso incident. Yeah, for sure. Uh, well, first of all, if it happened a lap early, I'd get my standing restart points. I'm very annoyed about that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, uh, I. It's crazy that you can get a penalty for that they have this data that proves that Alonso is guilty of breaking despite the fact it didn't change like Russell didn't hit him or anything but it just changed the way Russell had to take the corner and that's why he crashed um that is a crazy thing that they've that they've now established can be set in F1 because that yeah. does feel like they can now just make up penalties whenever they want um <laughs> but at the same time, it is kind of fair if that, that is what happened, you know, then Alonso does deserve a penalty for cha literally changes how he dr drove on the final lap to stop uh, Russell from overtaking. So it is, it is, cr it's a crazy thing that's happened in F1 that uh, I don't think it's got. You know, it got focused on a lot, but I don't think it's focused on enough. You know, they gave a point for causing a collision when in no way has Alonso looked to have done anything to cause the collision, but he has done something to cause the collision. Yeah. And I think it says a lot that Aston Martin, who have famously uh, argued a lot of points, a lot <laughs> of uh, a lot of penalties, decided not to argue this one. So they must think, you know, it's fair. So... Bit crazy, bit of a crazy one. Uh, and Paul Russell obviously stranded in the middle of the track. I know uh, Lance Stroll's uh, engine. I've watched the clip of Lance Stroll's engineer going danger, 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 <laughs> uh, and that is that is uh, one hell of a clip. But also, of course, the one where Russell is just begging with his engineer for red flags to be yeah. out because he's just stuck sideways on the middle of the track, which is just incredible. Yeah. 
that, that bad clip of Russell screaming for a red flag. That was that was just a pure pure fear in this voice that you just yeah. didn't feel like at any at any point a car could just come around the corner and expect to take the corner normally. And then there was a car that was sideways. If that was a that was a collision, Russell probably wouldn't survive that. And just just makes you think just how dangerous Formula One is sometimes. Yeah, um, glad that nothing happened to Russell, but obviously the the crash itself. Yeah, it's it's controversial. I'm just I'm on the I'm the side that I I will trust yeah, right. I will trust the FIA in this sense, even though I. I keep shitting on the FIA throughout, like, pretty much the entire series we have. I keep calling the FIA incompetent. Uh, this time, I'm just, I'm just indecisive. I, I kind of, if I was a Lonzo fan, I would be against the penalty. If I was a Russell fan, I would be against the penalty. I would be for the penalty. So, so yeah. Th- right now, being a fan of none of them, like, I know that I'm don't like them. It's just that I'm not necessarily a fan of. Either of them, I'm really yeah, yeah. undecided on the on the incident itself. In my opinion, both have some kind of a fault on it. Like obviously, uh, Lonzo with that brake check and Russell with who couldn't, I couldn't like manage to not crash in that case. Obviously, Alonso probably is more on fault, but just the whole incident is so bizarre and just nothing that you normally see in F one. And yeah, I'm just, I, I it, like after the race, I didn't expect the penalty to be there. So yeah, I was just surprised by it, and I, I accepted it. I like they, they, they got the data. They, they saw that Alonso did something and gave him a penalty. So fair. I'm gonna trust FA for once, and yeah, uh, accept that as a penalty. Nothing really yeah. much to say there anymore. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. it was uh, interesting, interesting to say the least. Uh, I wish it had happened the lap before and we've got the <laughs> standing restart. But anyway, uh, most impressive team. Now, we both had good shouts here, right? Yeah. I'd agree we both had good shouts. I'd also uh, give a shout out to Haas. Personally, I'd put Torosa ahead of Haas because uh, they earned more points despite only being one driver. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't, you know, McLaren deserve a shout out for that uh, second and third. Has uh, and Torosso both deserve shout outs, but I think it goes to Ferrari, right? Yeah, yeah, no doubts. Most impressive team, yeah, deserve deserve it for the one two. Yeah. Obviously, there's questions there whether or not they would be able to get that one two if it wasn't for Max. But I mean, Science looked over overtook him fairly, so. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I, I'll give it Ferrari. Um, but yeah, to, to us, uh, so many teams deserve shouts. Uh, Torosso, Haas, uh, McLaren. Well, we say Torosso, it was mainly Yuki, but uh, <laughs> Daniel was in 12. Yeah, Yuki uh, And they did earn more points than Haas. I think, I think it's worth pointing out they earned more points than Haas. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, you know, and the McLarens and the Ferraris all deserve shout outs. Even the Saubers, despite the fact they are way at the back, managed to beat uh, Ocon, at least. <laughs> Did you not see their pit stop? No, I didn't, no. Oh, uh, yeah, you didn't watch the race. Is it another terrible one? Yeah, and they had, oh, they had another pit stop <laughs> issues, and, yeah, pretty much screw up, screwed up Bottas' race again. So, yeah, I'm just... The, the Sauber team just keeps on disappointing Byron, everyone. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's interesting that Haas has now managed to jump. Maybe even... Uh, I'd say they jumped Williams and Sauber and Alpi. Yeah. Uh, it's whether, it's, it's see, whether to be seen, whether that it's RB as well, because uh, Yuki's been very impressive. Daniel, not so much, <laughs> but I'm sure we'll see standout drives from him, like in Italy and Mexico. He usually uh, shines there. But, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, um... <laughs> yeah, the most impressive team. If it was Yuki Tsunoda, I would give it to him, honestly. Just uh, Yuki yes, Tsunoda, yeah. the most impressive team. <laughs> yeah. Um, Sad, sadly, sadly, it should be counted as the whole team in the 1 2. Yeah, as you said, has a good shot as well. Double points finish from 
Uh, really bad qualifying as well. They they didn't look quick in qualifying in particular. Obviously, Hulkenberg got impeded, but still didn't look anywhere near quick for a Q3. And, and yeah, just great Sunday for Haas. Obviously, thanks to those 3D and as they both scored points. Um, yes. McLaren, as I did earlier, would give me a point if it wasn't for one Ferrari 1-2. And, yeah, good weekend for McLaren. When it comes to Ferrari, they would still get a double podium even without any DNF. So, straight up, most impressive team. They could have challenged for pole position if they... Well, I don't know what happened in Q3. Sainz didn't have the pace, ultimately, and Charles just screwed up his lap. It was a weird instance, but in the race, they looked very good. Perhaps could have challenged Max. Sainz obviously overtook him on, on lap two, so... Yeah, we'll, we'll never know what could have happened, but Ferrari won two nonetheless. Definitely the most impressive team. So no points for us. Yeah. Most, yeah. most impressive driver. I don't think any of us get this one. Sadly not. Uh, you know, it, again, it's a fight here, but I think it's only a fight between two drivers. I think Yuki deserves a shout, but it should go to Carlos Sainz. Um you know, mostly because us two did not predict him to get top five, so it yeah. would be most impressive, right? Yeah, I, mean, I, I mean, the general F1 spear might have not agreed with us, but I don't think anyone expected him to get first. So. I, mean, I expected him to crash. So getting yeah, first you expected place, him so, to yeah. crash, I expected him to be like seventh. So, so yeah, uh, definitely goes to Dosu Carlos for me. If it wasn't for, for Carlos winning the race, I think it could go to Yuki, technically, but science, I think science takes it for this one, but either way, we don't get any points, so it doesn't really matter. Now, uh, we've discussed extra bold prediction, and my annoyance to standing restart, and your yeah. annoyance at uh, science, well, your silly error to put science having a yeah. major driver error. Yeah, uh, but, science, science saw my predictions and just decided to lock, lock, lock in. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to mention, you actually told me to put that Russell... Because I said Russell crash. Yeah. And you said to me to put that. And why I didn't, I'm so annoyed at myself now. Yeah, just... Why I decided to play it safe with the standing restart... I'm fuming at myself. Uh, so but, uh, yes. <laughs> yeah, we should, we should listen to it more <laughs> yeah, when, I'm, when I'm giving you three points. Obviously, not not when it's the fastest lap because sometimes I'm just <laughs> randomly here. <laughs> but yeah, in this case, you got very unlucky in the predictions overall. And once again, I'm winning. Right. I'm winning this weekend, not by much. You it's do. just It's just one point, but it's it's an improvement. I'll be honest. I'm more annoyed that I didn't get four just because I would have liked to have four every single time. So. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I kind of ruined my streak of sevens as well. Yeah, yeah, we, we've changed. But uh, I, I'm going to make the comeback. There's still a lot of races left in the season. There's, in and fact, of course, 20, Japan is up next. Yeah, there's, in fact, 21 races and six sprints. Oh so a lot of points to get. Oh, was Japan's sprint. What? No, Wait, no, no. I think, I think China is the first sprint, so they're the fifth oh race. Yeah, I did a simulation. I remember actually the sprint races. So it is, it is, yes. It is the it is Chinese China. sprint race. So, yeah. Uh, I was going to say, I hope it's not freaking Japan. That race barely has any overtakes anyway. Never yeah. mind if it was a sprint race. Yeah, Suzuka as a circuit is probably very good to drive in real life, but it's not very good track for overtaking, yeah. especially in these cars that just rely so much on DRS overtakes and just yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm I'm not look I, I was not looking to uh, looking forward to Australia but Japan coming up Ferrari being in a very good form McLaren looking like they could actually challenge in Suzuka thanks to their car being just good on that kind of circuit maybe we could see a free weight fight at least for for pole position so uh, I could be excited for that, Holy but moly. when it comes to the race itself, this race wasn't great. I mean, it, Max didn't win, but it, in itself, we didn't get many overtakes, even yeah. many battles. It just didn't happen. Just this is straight up 
domination just from different the, driver. The one big battle that happened uh, ended up with Russell on his side, so... <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was just a couple of laps towards the end. Yeah, it was pretty much just if, if it was Max winning instead of Carlos, it would probably be like barring level. But luckily, Max didn't win, so we had a little bit of excitement. Yeah. So luckily, it somehow is still the best race of the season despite nothing occurring. <laughs> yeah. So let's hope for something positive in Suzuka. Even though I fully expect Max to win by half a minute. Yeah, it's me just, too. Yeah, it's, it's just how it goes. Max DNFs and just wins the next ten races. So yeah, we gotta get used to it. Um, anyways, I get. I guess we're 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 over. We're done for for the ja- oh, sorry Australian Grand Prix reaction. And thank you for so much for coming again to my recording. And yeah, next week Japanese Grand Prix, we'll do the predictions. Uh, I assume on Thursday as well, uh, last weekend, yeah. sometime during the weekend. Um, uh, yes, it will. Uh, yeah, yeah. Ma- uh, it, it, of course, Japan. It will be my birthday for qualifying, so oh. very excited for that. Yeah, yes, that's, that's that's nice. I better get points next week. Let's <laughs> hope. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, maybe we could do the predictions tomorrow. Technically, is it? The sooner we get the videos out, the better in terms of the yeah, yeah. rage That's itself. Because, right. yeah, I mean, the views don't really matter uh, as much overall. It's just the fun thing we do. Uh, we put it on YouTube as well. I don't expect my videos to blow up for this year. It's just, I'm just doing this for fun and I'm thankful for you being there with me. But yeah. Um, so, next week, okay. maybe. Maybe t- tomorrow we'll see. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna end this video now. Thanks everyone who's been watching this video, has who's been watching our content for for months. Uh, it's it's gonna be an anniversary of the for F1 content in like May, I think, or June. Actually, the first first produ- uh, first Grand Prix we did was like Austria, or it was uh, Britain. Oh, Britain. So just after Austria. So Britain was our yeah. first one. So yes. that means it's going to be yeah two months or two and a half months till our anniversary of doing this for wow. one year. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. yeah. So thanks for keeping up with us. If uh, <laughs> there's anyone watching and actually like enjoying the content and uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoy it the videos coming up and we'll just keep doing them because it's fun and yeah uh enjoy this video make sure to subscribe like the video and comment down below what you want to see from us moving forward and until next time see ya bye